Hello, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to our Apex Legends news episode. I hope you guys all enjoy. As always, all of today's stories will be timestamped down below if you want to bounce around from story to story. The first one, though, let's hop right into it. Apparently, a new list has been leaked of brand new Apex Legends future names of characters that are not yet in the game. If you guys do not recognize some of these lists, I'll, I'll link, of course, the leaker down below for all of you. Uh, first of which, we actually have Nomad and Profit. If you guys are a fan of the EA series Crisis, uh, it's actually those are two recognizable names for all of you. Octane and Watson are also on the list. We talked about last week some leaked names that kind of just double confirms those two names of new characters which could come sometime soon as of which characters will actually come the soonest no one really knows out there so a full list you know some sources citing eight characters some nine some ten some even eleven characters all in all you guys can see their names there's really not much to go into because some of these names have abilities next to them but we really can just only speculate what those abilities might mean until the characters are actually released so there's not too much point in actually speculating that more importantly though the biggest story today will be hip boxes for the game itself. Now, I do want to clarify um, some great jobs out there by videos. I'll link down below. Suki Spy was the first one to actually release a video on these hitboxes being exploited. As many of us are probably aware, comparing Wraith to Gibraltar, you can probably assume who the easier target's going to be for any gun in the game out there. He does a great job actually identifying as well. Pathfinder on the list. Caustic, of course, very obvious as well. I think Pathfinder, one of those characters, was a bit surprising that you could actually shoot sometimes in between his legs and also hit him and around his shoulder as well as his torso he has a pretty wide hitbox so a great video linked down below for all of you but also a response from respawn so it's actually Jay Freshet. Uh, I'd probably mispronounce that but I think it's Jay the team is aware of the issue so it's a great response time you know within a few days he's already taking to Twitter taking the objective to make sure they know about this and they're currently discussing fixes for this issue now if you guys are fans of other titles out there like Fortnite or CSGO CSGO actually sticks to only male character models because they were afraid of a, of a thinner female model actually um, having hitbox issues and having to recode for all of that. Fortnite does a great job of actually addressing both those and has female and male characters with all the same hitboxes. So congrats to Fortnite, another great thing they've done. And apparently though, Apex, they knew the issue was going to be at hand and they're now slowly working towards a potential fix for this issue. And until then, well, it's going to be tough for all of you players out there who play of those three, Caustic, Pathfinder, and of course Gibraltar. Although luckily enough, most trios out there don't really, I don't think, run Gibraltar and this is definitely not going to help the fact for that. So Wraith and Bangalore, the two tiniest characters, will continue to probably dominate at least the competitive scene. Now also, in some very small news out there, speaking of the competitive scene, kind of a reference to Fortnite as well, we actually had ESL earlier this week or just a few days ago announced their Apex Legends account on Twitter. And why this is actually big news is because for Fortnite, when ESL did the same exact thing, they said hello there and they had a brand new Twitter account for ESL Fortnite events. Within a week or two, they actually announced their big $500,000 Fortnite event for ESL in Katowice, Poland. So expect something on the horizon here very soon. Expect some, some first premiere events for Apex Legends, which I am very excited to see. You know, first of all, where they put this, I would hopefully have a North American event, but it's going to be our first ever premiere uh, Apex Legends event. Will be ESL hosted most likely, and we can expect probably at least 200k on the line. Maybe I wouldn't say 500k, but still, ESL is in the, in, the, in the scene now. Whenever ESL is involved, you're definitely going in the right direction, and we can expect our first ever premiere event sometime soon. And very lastly, in the news, of course, it has to be Dizzy himself, one of the first to find a brand new bug exploit, you know, bug, exploit, uh, not really a cheat, abuse, whatever you want to call it, because there's been quite a few in the game we are aware of, especially around the gliding uh, mechanism. Um, we've had glitches out there before. We've had Dizzy himself even show us how to kind of abuse the glide down function to get farther and farther. This time around, though, from Dropship, as well as, of course, from Balloons, you can actually abuse this bug, which sends you, well, a lot further. So I'll let Dizzy and, of course, Dr. Lupo show you guys in-game how it's been done. Thing I'm, I'm not gonna do this a lot, but look at this current bug. Look at this. What? You see that? How you? How are you doing that? Yeah, it, know, they're gonna. Me, yeah, I'm not. Yeah. I don't want it's, to yeah, no, it's already been. An, it's already been. What's it called? Um, grenade bind. They need to patch this like ASAP. That's real. I, I see you guys. I appreciate the fire you're making. Best shot your guy. Oh, I didn't. He's what though. What? 2019, dude. Yeah, right. Cause 11 months of tier two. Appreciate it. Listen, I don't have a lot of friends. All right, this is the process. I don't have a lot of Apex friends. It's all right, well, I'm not making a bunker. I'm going close. 
So from what I've been told so far, it might be, a, of course, take some practice, take some time to get used to it. Pretty much you free look up while holding down your grenade buying key and then pretty much just go up and down rapidly. And I'm sure all of you guys can figure it out um, as you do. I don't know why when I said free look up, I wanted to uh, kind of act it out for all of you, but that's how you do it. I am very, very sure. I'm, I'm sure you guys already know they're going to be patching this hopefully, uh, hopefully as soon as possible. The other one though, the other glider uh, abuse exploit that we've seen, it has not been patched and hopefully that one actually does remain in the game. This one though, a, a bit p too abusive. You can get actually across the entire map as opposed to a little bit further. So hope you guys all enjoy. As always, my name is Jake here with Apex News. Hope to see you guys sometime soon. And maybe the next time I see you, we'll have an ESL event on the horizon. But as always, hope you guys all enjoy. And until next time, I'll see you then.